is to have a DM strategy that says, hey, do you know anybody that could benefit from my XYZ teaching, coaching, whatever you're selling, doesn't matter if you have a course for sale or if you're selling coaching. Uh, This is a great way just to get a real quick booking link. Uh, It will cost you $10 if you use the appointment schedule um, because, I mean, you know, Google's a business. So anyways, this is what you'll get for $9.99 a month. Google Calendar right here, if you were going to manually just invite somebody to an event, to a call, okay, that's one way to do it. But down here when you hit task, and I would call this like, for me, I'm just going to call this marketing opportunity session, okay? And then I would say, I would maybe ask a couple qualifying questions right here, and um, hopefully they would they would answer them because it's, yeah. All right. All right. So then now with appointment schedule uh, right here, I'd add my title. Right. Appointment schedule. And then all of a sudden it changes and it hates me. <laughs> all right. So we're going to hit edit and we're going to go ahead. And now this is going to allow you to book these times just for your coaching calls or your one on one teaching, whatever you're doing with your students. Right. So you can go through and hit these, set your availability. Okay. I'm just going to leave mine 8 to 10 and 9 to 5. And let's see. Then we want to customize this. So we're going to give this name, Marketing Opportunity Session. And then we're going to go Scheduling Window, 14 days in advance to 24 hours before. Just meaning that maximum time in advance that an appointment can be booked is 14 days prior. That's it. And then minimum time before the appointment start that it can be booked, 24 hours, right? And it's honestly whatever you guys feel. But uh, change the dates availability, you can adjust it. Booked appointment settings, guests can invite others, no. All right, calendars, avoid scheduling conflicts, yep. Okay, and let's see, I'm liking the way this is looking. I got a name for it. We got just our hours that we're going to offer, and then we're going to hit next, okay? And then it's going to say, booking page, photo and name. You can say, okay, this is how we're going to meet right here. Google Meet video conferencing. Uh, Any questions right here? Hopefully they'll answer. Booking form. All right. So right here is where you're going to be able to ask like, what's your budget? Um, What is your goal? What do you expect the desired outcome by the end of our time? So just something simple like that. What is your budget and what is your outcome? What is your one goal that you want to achieve with our time, right? And you could say, hey, this is going to be three to four calls, about 45 minutes in length. We'll schedule it out for an hour, though. And if you want, you can add an item right here and make it required. So whether you want a custom item, that's where you're going to put the question. And you're going to say, what is your goal upon our time together? With our time together, whatever. Required. That will make sure that they cannot book this until they answer that question. Okay, add item. Okay, so now we're going to know what's your budget for marketing, what is your goal. And honestly, if you got more questions, go ahead. But I always like to get first, last email, and then like one or two questions. Keep it simple. And that's it. Booking confirmations and reminders. I just keep that on right there. And anything right here, you can add a note that explains your service. This will appear on your booking page and in confirmation emails. So thank you. Be ready. You know, attached is XYZ form. Make sure you do that. If you're going to send them a form right away, you know, make sure you answer all the questions and then be ready. And we're going to go over a scope of work and we're fit. Great. We'll talk about what that looks like. Okay. Now then you hit save. And as you can tell, if I go to my calendar and if I go forward, let's say September opportunity session. Okay. People will not be able to book out Let's see, here it is. And there it is, Monday, Tuesday. And so these will avoid any other overlaps. See it? It's perfect. And it'll be like that until you switch it again. So you would use this in conjunction with a DM strategy that says, if you're reaching out to people that are kind of like a warm reach out, which would be considered like friends, family, maybe people you went to school with, people you're in college with, people you work with, would you or anybody you know be interested in a quick opportunity session to uncover XYZ coaching, teaching, or whatever that I'm working on? If so, great. Here's the link. And by the way, if anybody you refer buys from me, I'll give you $300 per student sign up or something. 
And if you wanted to take selling your coaching or consulting services one step further, guys, just remember, you do not have to be the absolute authority. All you have to do is be a few steps ahead of the next person and understand exactly how you can help this person get from A to B. Now, let's expand more on how you don't need any followers to start selling services. And one great way would be to implement a DM, a direct message strategy, and a platform of your choice, whether that's Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, where, wherever you wanna go. And you wanna use Google Calendar. If you wanna start getting paid, even just using Google Calendar to start selling coaching consulting services, Let's say you're creating programs and now you want to help a few people because selling your time one-on-one, -on -one, um, it costs a lot more. And frankly, once you give up your time, you can't get that back. So guys, I want you to go out there and make passive income online. This is just one great way that you don't have to set up a website, a sales funnel, all that. You can do it from social media. You can hit people in the DMs with that message and then that link to your booking and that share link. If you wanted to click this anywhere, you could click this and then hit share. And I know this is um, desktop version, but uh, you can go in and just do it from your phone as well.